G'day guys, it's Jara here and welcome back to The Lion Song. So I thought today we would sit back and relax and do episode 3 of The Lion Song, which is another word I can't say, but... Deriviation? We're gonna go with that. So we are halfway through the series, we're gonna finish this series off. So let's do this. Vienna, Central Station. I think this is a train. My train. This is my train. You're drunk. Yes. We're all drunk. What is your point? We've been drunk for hours, mate. Didn't you notice? Here now, what's this? We're seeing our friend Theodore off. We've been saying goodbye <coughs> since. What's today? He's not going anywhere unless he boards the train. Would you like some help with these steps? Leave me be. I'm perfectly capable of climbing a couple of steps. Bye, chums. <laughs> Is the train moving? <laughs> oh, fellow. Ta-da! Would you like me to take your suitcase? Would you like to take your suitcase with you, sir? Don't tell me I live my life. Very well, if you insist. All aboard the Polar Express! I hate that movie, but I'm still gonna use that reference. All aboard for... Weiner! Not butchering a language! <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> Hello. Earlier that afternoon. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it now? Yes. Hello, lady. You look very familiar indeed. Excuse me, I'm looking for the radius? I'm not sure I understand, madame. The mathematician circle. I'm working on a theory of maintained... What would a young woman like you? What with such an august group of gentlemen? I'm a mathematician. My theory is about... A woman mathematician? Are you indeed? And I am... Archduke Franz Frendonin. A pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I must see Professor Zeller. He's expecting me. He's expecting you here. Now? While the radius is in session. I doubt that very much. But... Madame, this is a cafe. There are patrons lining up behind you to eat. In that case, I'd like to eat. Please show me a table. Certainly. If you step us to one side, I will see these people who have been waiting so patiently. Then I will see to you. Boy! Hey, excuse me? Hell to the no, that's bad service. That's bull. Boy, you suck. Uh. Door with circle sign, door with K sign, door with peculiar sign. Circle sign, that's the radius. Ah, the radius. The radius is half of the diameter in a circle. Math. <laughs> no one solved it this week. Have you forgotten Therium? Madam, you cannot be in here. This is a private gathering. My name is... Rakinzu, I have corresponded with Professor Zanna. You must be mistaken, these are mathematicians. As am I, females can be mathematicians. We can be whatever we want because females can do just as much as males. Feminists for the win. What a great episode to wear my feminist shirt. Please announce me. My name is Rakinzina. 
It is hard to be a female in that time period. I do admit. Because no one just believed in anything you did. Once you understand that, the solution is child's play. Yes, we have dined. You know better than... Hmm. Reckon sign? I don't recall. Professor Zana, I am a mathematician like you. I wrote to you regarding Dan's recent proof about Hilbert's third problem. There is some mistake. This is a private discussion of higher mathematician. My letter. Name dropping young woman is not going to get you anywhere. Mathematic Mathematics is a complex subject, entirely unusable for women. Mm. Your brains are domestic, not logical. <laughs> Listen here, bucko. Women, okay, are very logical, okay? Both men and women can have domestic and logical minds. This isn't... Well, this is actually like the 18th, 19th century. That is not the point. The point is, you will listen to what this woman has to say because she's going to whoop your ass when it comes to mathematics. So shut up. Let me speak. God forbid I'm going to blow the rest of your hair off of your little face. Do we understand, sir? Please escort this woman out of waiter and see that we are not interrupted again. Ah, you see? Do you want to get me fired? Please leave at once. Mathematic, mathematician, like me. <laughs> Can't wait for the day you get screwed over, girl. They are not worth your time, then. Nothing makes my blood boil more than being like, women can't do that because they're a woman. Screw you. Nothing will make my blood boil more. I'm Nicole. I just moved into the suite on the full floor. What's your name? I'm not a reconciled. I live behind the door. You live behind that door you're blocking. My parents are in France. I hate my governess, French mall. That's all there is to know about me. I'm sure that isn't all there is to know about you. Well, I'm nine and my parents are always gone. My father travels all the time for work and my mother goes with him. Why don't you go too? They say I'm not strong enough and I need to keep up with my studies. Nicole, it's time for your music lesson! I need to go before Francois finds me. It was very nice meeting you. I'm glad you'll be my friend. Someone doesn't want to do her music. Oh, honey. The Lion Song, episode three. Derivation. It hasn't even been five. Has the game hasn't even started? I'm already pissed off with it. Ugh. Feminism. And before all of you comment in the comment section below, feminism is not thinking women should overrule men. Don't get your little knickers in a twist, alright? Feminism. It's about equal opportunities for both genders, having equal rights, being paid the same, equal everything for both men and women and other. Not just women becoming more superior than the other genders. That's bullshit and that's a male thinking. Okay? It's just about equal opportunities for all genders. That's all. Alright? My apartment. Sorry, I get fired up about that. As you would know, honey. A state of change can be maintained. I'm sure of it. But how can I prove it? Ugh! Same though. Mathematician like me. Yes, I'm just a woman, but I have a new idea. No one will listen. 
No one cares. Dress up as male. Back forward. You should keep working. It's the beginning of proof. I know it is. There has to be a solution. Is there anything else I can do other than? I can look at side. Side. The radius was supposed to help me, but I didn't even get to state my problem. My clothes take up only one side. Hello, Emma. Yes? Package for Emma. This is me. Thank you. I want to see what the rest of this is. From the hospital. What's from the hospital? Open. A letter. Dear Fraulein Reckenshire, we rec get to inform you that the father, John Reckenshire, has come to turbulence. Tubulosis early Friday morning. Shoot. As you're aware, his illness was not responding to the treatment, and this is an inevitable outcome. We want to assure you that he passed away peacefully in his sleep, and just the previous evening, his thoughts were of you. We know you shared our belief that he was going to a better place, where his suffering is finally at an end. As you know, your father requested his clothing and personal effects be kept for you. We have therefore included them in this box. You have our sincere condolences for your loss and sympathy. Senior physician. Centaurium. Oh, honey. It's your fault, father. You raised me to believe in myself. Oh, hun. You believed in me, but now you're gone. What good is it if no one else does? Hours later. I need to put his things away. The next morning. Back at work. You got this, girl. You got this. <sighs> Can't make any headway. It's no use. I have to get to the library. I'm late already. Maybe I could think more clearly. I wasn't drowning in memories. Ha <laughs> ha. Another chair, another one bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone, and another one will bite the dust. Actually, I'm going to do wardrobe one last time. Father left me his clothes. Yeah, use them. I'm going to go to the library. Work at library. I forget that the time period we're in, women weren't, you know, respected in doing male jobs. I keep forgetting that. This could indeed be the correct beginning, but how to continue? How can I observe functions of change? Maybe you have to reverse my approach? No. I am returning for his own adventure. It was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountains climbers. Your book is overdue, young man. That would be too crone. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. Hmm. Small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to hospital. When his grandmother came to see how he was, a nurse said, no change yet. <laughs> I 
Why can't I see it? A state of change. That's like fully least spinning in air. A full speed train with the brakes land on. A state of change. Cooling pretzel. Yum. It's a fitting image. It's a fitting image. Excuse me. Is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. The Art of Formal Garden by Carl Dorn. Yes, madame. Professor Dorn is a noted Bosnian. I can never, I never know how to say that word, and I'm always like scared of saying it wrong. <sighs> Nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. Persistence, key, faith. Well, the sun was work for the day. Maybe I should get something to eat and try again tomorrow. Yes. Some food from the market should change things. Reading man. He reads a physics book. That's the row of books of... Stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Alright, continuing on. Huh? Chris Wall, this was the way to the market. To the market? Question mark? I wonder. Women can't be a mathematician. Is it possible I could fool them? But how could I? Father, your clothes. You left them to me. Oh, Father, you left them to me. Jesse, enter? It wouldn't do for a lady of my age to enter on a company. Oh, I hate this. The whole, like, women need men to escort, escort them to different places. This was back in a time when men actually had, like, civilization and actually wanted the whole, you know, the whole chivalry thing. That's when men actually had it. Now that's a foreign concept to men. Ugh. It's so frustrating. Okay, we are going back into the closet. Papa's clothes. I can use them to pose as a male mathematician and finally get access to the radius. Let's see. Hat? I don't think so. <laughs> Yodel. Yes. These will make it hard to recognize. Perfect. Give my hair into the hat. Shirt, vest, pullover, trousers, coat. I need something to conceal my pussy. So I'll definitely use those. Um, that will get too hot. I might be able to take them. That will look sharp. What jacket should I wear? You need pants, obviously. Tie. That should do. I can leave the outfit on the chair. Sorry, brain was like, <laughs> change. I can sharp, I can shake my hair to look like a sideburn. Hello, who? I have it. Hello, Emil. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I leave the radius speechless. The next day. That's how I wake up in the morning. I'm always like, "Hello, leaves falling dramatically in front of me," instead of being like, "The sun." No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, the radius will receive mail. It's kind of sad. You have to lie about your gender. Oh, that's cool. Change to Emma. Uh. Cafe. Oh, that's because it's raining, so there's clouds. That's small. I like that. That's cool. I like that indeed. Good afternoon, sir. I believe you are new to our cafe. How can you tell? Oh, I never forget a face. Extraordinary. Well done. 
How may I assist you? I am Emel, um, Shell. A visiting mathematician from Berlin. I was told I must introduce myself to the gentleman of Radius. Berlin? How wonderful. Unfortunately, you are the first to arrive. May I wait in the back room? Surely there'd be no objections to me waiting in the back room. My dear sir, of course you're welcome to wait for them in the back room. Do you see the door? Ha, oh, the radius. Yes, very clever. Ha, oh, thank you, however. You might have to wait quite a while for the radius to arrive. Perhaps you might want to come back later? Oh? Perhaps I will. Hmm. I guess we will come back later. What to do in the meantime? I'm gonna go back to my apartment. I'm not gonna change into myself just yet. Oh, I didn't realize I did that. That's pretty cool. I need to get out of this uncomfortable clothes. Okay, so she changes anyway. Um. I need to just go over here a bit more. Blackboard. Nothing new to add. Outside. The whole world is full of math. All within my reach. That's a good way of looking at it. Hello, Emil. Um... I don't I'm trying to think should I go back as we will go back as a meal I wonder if oh I was gonna see if as a meal I could do some more math um, I have to pass some time until the members of radius arrive go to the market because maybe I can go into that store that I need a mail for which is so frustrating Oh, market! Here we go. Can I just talk to you guys for a bit, or yes, yeah, so would you like to buy some meat? Is that a pig's head? Yes, it is. Are you squeamish? Of course not. Would you like to buy it? Oh no, I'd like to buy some meat. Um, some sausages, please. How about some hearty vegetables? Um, what does it say on the blackboard? Apologies, what does it say on the blackboard? Oh, it's not readable? But it was very well written. It says, 200 grams of Chanel for 50 Hella, and 250 grams of Volaire for one crone. I see that. But why the potato drawing on the top? Potato? That's a mushroom. Oh, sorry. Let me see what you have. Kilo of potatoes! I am obsessed with potatoes. Who isn't at this stage, honestly? Um, let's talk to the old lady. Yes, I would like. Speak up, dear! I'd like to buy something! Alright, what would you like to buy? I, um. Yeah, some pretzels. I'm just trying to get rid of some time. Wow, Vendor. You like to buy some flowers? I have several on sale and they're sure to make your lady swoon. I'm just browsing. Hmm. I heard you were selling some special paint. I'm sure you've heard of me. But an honor, but Sally already sold my paint to someone else. Oh, a good way to tie it in. Nice. What? Who'd you sell it to? A fellow named Marquette. Oh, very well. Can you do anything else? I have. No, no, it's alright. I like that. That's a nice touch. Nice touch, nice touch. Yes, we're a master painter. Excuse me. Brain function, please. Yes? Your mouth never moves when it talks. How do you do that? Long years of tar rigorous training. I don't even need to blink anymore. Always vigilant and always at the ready. Well, I became then. Cause that's not creepy at all. Oh. My body is very stiff, and I'm like, hmm, maybe the race has arrived by now. Well, that's what I'm hoping, because I've uh, been on a low, I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. 
to hear one more episode left to record of this. It should be the finale of the four-parter series. Which I'm excited about. Because then that's another series done. Hopefully I will get Peace Death done soon. Um, we just finished Dream Daddy. A lot of series are finishing and new ones are beginning. It's good. Good to get some new games, some new blood in here. Alpha. Empty seat. Uh, yes. Ooh, actually, I actually want to look at the blackboard. Because they're not here yet, are they? Problem of the week. Keeping, to them, keeping their minds active. With puzzles posed by Zener, no doubt. Intriguing. And this week is about the origin of number pi. Hmm, pi. No. I must prove myself by so solving this pi. The radius. Ah. If I picture it like that, then it becomes fairly obvious. Pi is a key to the circle. Yes. No, I tell you, that won't work either. Your method only works up to a certain point. You never agree with me. Zala himself couldn't find anything. What have we here? A visitor? You must forgive me, gentlemen. I hope that I have what I've written here can serve as a calling card. You can indeed, sir. That is quite remarkable. Did you know what I have are? I just serve as a new R. My name is Anmas from the Frederick Wilson University in Berlin. I thought I knew most of the fellas at the University of Berlin, but please, fella, please, but please feel welcome, sir, to the Radius. You got some long. Oh, um. Hello? No. Well, that was a bit sus. I read this mathematician vaping over here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Amashman. Raj. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance here, Raj. Um. What is your field of expertise? Complex analysts. Number theories. A prime combination. You feel the expertise. Prime. No. Yes. Can't you see? Huh? I found something. Rubbish. Ashmel. Um. I. So hey, Ashmel, you are a professor at the Berlin University. Well, I. Of course you must be. You're probably very new to it. Actually. Or a supply teacher. Hosanna! Mm. What was is it? I'd like to talk to you about my theory. Fine. Let's hear it. Functions of change in conjunction with time and state. Uh, curious? That sounds a lot like my own work. Well, I don't deal with such distractions at this time. I need to work on my own theories. But do ask the other members. They need the challenge. Good day, my name is Melchia, and you are? Good day, Helmschmer. My name is Stefan Neer. You say you are from the University of Berlin? Yes, that's correct. So you are a lecturer as well? I teach at the University of Vienna in the mathematics facility. I look forward to comparing notes. Um, gladly. You need to. Mm, what? It's more like shaking and it's weird. Also, did that puzzle story just come out as a pie symbol? Or am I seeing things? No, I'm just seeing things. They're arguing. I don't want to intrude. And he's asleep. So I can't talk to them, I can only talk to you. I'm looking for the help of my current theses. It is coming out as a person topic. Functions of change in conjunction with time and state. Hmm. There's my area of expertise. Goodbye. Tweedle Dee, Tweedle Dum, and Tweedle Dumber. Stop arguing. That would be swell. Yes. What are you working on? Function of change. Looking to change the state. 
intriguing, but I do not think I can be much help with that. My focus on street mathematics and moving parts of a constant system. Perhaps one of the other members of the radius can assist you. I have a question about one of the other members. Um, about the two fellows arguing. Nikit and Worm. Excuse me? Those are their names. Uh, the one on the left is Nikit. They don't seem to get along very well. Don't worry, they fight a lot. What about math, mostly? Who's the man sleeping in the corner? That's Elmish, the doctor in our circle. Why is he sleeping? He was subtle at first. He just fell asleep one time and no one noticed. Now he feels so home here, he just falls asleep every afternoon. We know him here for so long, we don't really mind. Elmish seems... Don't, he wasn't always. He acted as quite a brilliant mind, but he's a horrible teacher. Don't tell him I said that. Tell me about Zano. What about him? He's the founder of Radius? Yes. Along with Ash and Raj. How'd the Radius come to be? Well, as far as I know, Zano was looking for like-minded people. Sort of elite mathematics, the best of the best. To exchange opinions and theories on all topic matters. Mathematics. He had heard of a circle of math mathematicians in London, so he decided to found one here himself here in Vienna. His Majesty was intrigued and agreed to find the radius. As long as it led to mathematician progress, I went around quickly to join as several others. And every time Worm, then Nick and I joined as well. Okay. Strangely deformed seat. Oh my god, what is it? A new theory? Oh no, it's nothing. Oh. How disappointing. There's an impressive buttock in brief. Chair, what's so interesting about the chair? Oh nothing, sorry. Oh yeah, it's probably his. Uh, I'll go I don't want to intrude. Can I wake him up? Well, I'm running out of ideas. Oh, I found something. What did you find? An empty fireplace. Someone drew a pie in the ashes. It's a picture of the members of the radius. No time for your distractions. I can't if no one's listening to me. Ah, oh, they're arguing. Well, I don't know what to do now because they're all arguing with. What do you teach exactly? So you interview the black bat professor called Maverick Chain. I try to broaden the horizon of my students every now and then with new theories. It's a Maverick Chain. I'm so glad you asked. No one around here seems to be interested. In discussion, new theories anyway. The Maverick Chain, as Maverick himself described it, is a process where one state transitions to another, which is the probability of the next state depending on the purity of the current one. Hmm. Consider it a drunken walking on a numbered line. Each step has either moved forward by one or backwards by one. So the next step or state is dependent only on his current position and not where he has stumbled already. Correct. Very interesting. I find it curious that you would find this theory interesting, since you mentioned before that your focus is discrete mathematics. Just because that is my area of expertise doesn't mean I don't enjoy dabbling in all things mathematical. With varying degrees of success. <laughs> Take care. You teach now. Why don't you ever listen to me? I thought that was Zala's button pressing. See? Oh my god, I so thought it was. So can I just leave? Mountain painting. Painting of some mountains, a label. Oh, rubbish. Doesn't look like anything to me. Exit. Sigh, I came here looking for help. These mathematicians, well, certain they can help. If they can't, what will I do? I hope. Masco isn't a waste of time. So they were bloody useless. Hmm. What's their change into another, but how? Yes? Well, would you like some coffee? Uh, probably, yeah, with milk and sugar. Certainly. Sort hmm, just right. I'm a tea gal, but you know, I'll drink. I'll make my character drink a cup of coffee and need it to. Agent. Card playing ladies. 
I surely wouldn't be allowed to join them. She keeps looking at me. I don't feel comfortable flirting with her. Actually, I'll talk to you. Ahem. Hold the front door open. Thank you for holding the door. <laughs> I trust your visit with Radius was rewarding, Hushin. If I could re not remember how I was treated, I would not know to mimic it now. Every change in behavior occurs in given time. I'm afraid I don't understand mathematics. You're exactly right. It is mathematics. What is your name? Maurice, sir. Maurice, yes, of course it would be. All Matrix are named Maurice. Maurice, you're a genius. Only my pa parents had seen that. Story of my life. It's interesting to know that the women had to wait for the male to open the door. Yes, it's cute and all, but I can also open a door if I want to. Yes, I would like a male to open a door for me, but it wouldn't be sitting at the door waiting for four hours straight, waiting for a male to open the door. You know what I mean? It's just as simple as you getting out the car, they race around when it's a date and they open the door for you. That's nice. Not like when you're hanging out with them type of thing. You know? Sometimes here or there it's just nice. Not always. Stuff like that. It's just interesting that she didn't even think twice. I, you know, told her automatically, go. Go open the door. And she just didn't think twice about it. I must write this down. Her <laughs> other food I bought. Hmm. Days ago, I would not have known what the ladies at the cafe expected of me. But just now, I remember the gentleman who once opened the door for me. My behavior changed, and that change transpired over. Remember, every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. That's it. Of course. That's it. Huh? Another package? So from my dead father again. I need to change first. Alright, change into Emma. Because women couldn't wear pants in this time period, which realistically it makes more sense for males to wear skirts. But whatever, that's another predicament for another day. Emma? Am I interrupting? No, of course not. Today you look much happier. Today I am happier, Nicole. How are you? The same. I'm always the same. Have your parents returned? No, they've gone to Sweden. Nicole! It's time for your history lesson! History? I hate history. It never changes. It's true. History doesn't change, just the perspective we see it upon changes. Nicole! Days later. Oh, I get it now. Change quickly. Go into the cafe? Maybe? Confused? Yes. Good day. I'm assuming I'm showing them again. <laughs> Just cakes. Um, keep going. Oh, so I could get changed and be like, haha, look what I did. I'm a female and I solved a math pro and you couldn't. You can a method only works to some point. Nonsense, you probably just made mistakes on the way you- Alright! Again, no one can solve the problem. Ash, now, why don't you try your luck with this with problem? Zara is making them harder for you, well, of course. So, get to it. Hmm. We're trying to find corrections between primes. Neurology, not my strong suit. There's something here. Something. Sometimes there's straight lines up here. Almost. There's the numbers have a certain pattern to them. Interesting. 
I think... I think they do. He's got it. They extrapolate. Is that a new method to find primes? It looks consecutive, conclusive. So again, gentlemen, our guest from Berlin triumphs. A lot of Germans is with him. Nonsense, our colleagues have a gift. That is clear. I agree. Quite remarkable. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Many in your company that I flourish. Is he trying to ridicule us? No, you misunderstood. He might have already. You just didn't notice. I assure you. Hospital, sir. Gentlemen, you must excuse me. Hershner, hmm. would you like to join me outside? With some coffee, my treat. Hmm. I wish I was that good at mathematics. Or just any decently good amount of mathematics would be. Perfect for me. I can barely do simple math. That's me being nice to myself. Patreon, Patreon. Join no 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 Zena's sister is terribly ill with tuberculosis. I'm sorry to hear that. My father died of it. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. By the way, he's kind of me to believe in me. I became a mathematician because of him. I'm glad he did. I got to meet you because of him. Uh, I am intrigued by your notion of change, states of change, and the collapse of such. I admit I'm struggling with it. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think. Just wait until we get our cake, and I'll show you what it looks like to bite off more than one can chew. <laughs> They're gonna get along. We really feel that way. Probably should mention it, but this is Zalo's field too. I gather. But he's a proud man, maybe. Disinclude to help. Yeah, I noticed. I believe he's beginning to consider your arrival. We might try. You're rich. He has done some similar work. Every time I approach him, I find him asleep. <laughs> yes, he does enjoy his afternoon naps. A difficult wall to breach. Would you like to look at my equation? I'd value your opinion, if you'd like. But I assure you that this is outside my expertise. Thank you. You're a good friend. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Let me introduce myself. But it's Franz Market! Oh my god, it's come full circle! Again! That's right, I had to introduce myself to the gentleman at the table. Holy schmoly, sir, this is an honour. What can we do for you? I'd like to paint this one. Schneer. Oh, Schmeer, you must forgive me. I've been selling you from across the room. Oh, the layers of you are contradictory somehow. Not at war with one another, but a duty. Changing at first, I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with you the first. Yes, changing, you say. I want, must pay to you. I would be honoured. Excellent. You present a challenge I have never faced before. I promise you I will capture you. The workshop is a whole of ten. Please come at your earliest convenience. And gentlemen, pray continue your luncheon. Yes, full circle. Love it when that happens. In the beginning. He thought differently about me, then then in the end. I must leave now. I'm going along. I'll just help myself to another piece of this amazing cake. I need to go home and write this down. So I need to exit the cafe, go home, and then go to the guy's place and get painted. That'd be cool to like I need to go home and write down. To like have a painting, someone paint you. Or someone like draw you. That's really cool. I think that's pretty cool. Pardon me. 
I'm looking for an address. And I'm heading to the right direction? Yes, you are. The building is just here. You know someone who lives there? Yes, my name's Nicole. Ah, I know her. She's my upstairs neighbor, in fact. She's my friend. I try to spend as much time with her as I can. Oh, is that... That's very kind of you, of course, sir. But I don't think a gentleman would be having interest in a nine-year-old girl. So you have no concern about your niece. I treat her with the utmost property. Of course, of course. Forgive my rudeness. Please tell me how she is. Is she happy? To be honest, no. You are our uncle, you say. To be honest, no. My sister and her husband travel a great deal. Are they looking after her? Um, her governess deals her like she's alone most of the time. Alone? How dreadful. Thank you for being so honest. If you excuse me, of course let's go. Forgot. Female. Better than male. Need to get these uncomfortable clothes. See, that is hella comfortable to me. Hmm. The painter, when he first observed me, he thought one thing, but then he changed his mind. Yes. Everything changed has an origin and a destination state. A falling leaf starts still attached to its branch and just a few minutes later it rests on the ground. Finally! I can build a relation between these states and theories, yes! It's starting to come together! I can feel it! <gasps> I forgot to go to work! Better hurry! Change it to Emma. We gotta go to work. Quick! Come on, we gotta run on out. Let's go, let's bounce. Cause we don't wanna be a little late. Cause I know I'd be so uptight. But my heart's been hurt a couple times. But I got the game. Alright, now Emma. Concentrate. Every change occurs when given a beginning so to present a state in the change I need to know how it's changing why it's happening hmm if I do this no that's too general all right try something else to present a state in change do you have frauds jokes and the relation to the unconscious. Yes, of course. It should be in the psychology section. What about? Um. Yes. Three essays on the theory of sexuality. There's a waiting list for that one. Maybe I have your name? My name? Oh. Um. Never mind. I should try another approach. To preserve a state and change, I need to slow it down. Hmm. Where and how? What am I missing? Alright, try something else. To preserve a state and change. How are you today, Fron? So I'll be. Herr Whittington. I heard about your father. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. What can I do for you? I want to return Russell's principle of mathematics and Farage Jun de Archimed. I know I butchered that language and I apologize. Were they helpful? I only read Frog's book. First I believe the books were in conflict. While I was in England I studied them again and again. I almost gave up on them. It was until crossing the channel, after putting both books down for a while, that I began to see the commonalities. If only I could find the right words to describe to you what that feels like. If you don't know how to talk about it, maybe you shouldn't. Huh. Hmm. Before one cannot speak, therefore one must be silent. A good philosophy. Good day to you. Good day. Some tender love and care. The change is thinking came from observation. First he was too close, but then he 
the school, he changed his perspective. We did log with see the commonalities between the two books. I'm afraid across the channel. That's it. He changed his change of mind came about in the few hours between Dermot and Callus. A change can only be observed in a certain time frame. I need to go home and write this down. Locus Observani. Leave library. My apartment. I need to write that down. Oh, are they going to get painted? I want to see how her painting would turn out. Or is this why she can't be painted because she's doing all this? That would be interesting. Hmm. Thinking change. You observe the change in the given time frame. A change can be observed in a given time frame. Of course, you can only see a falling leaf while it's still falling. Now, to meet the painter, but not like this. That's better. Yes! Okay, this should be good. I'm excited. Later, the artist works. Changing. You see far too much, sir. What? A few hours later. Whew! That did not go as I'd hoped. Days later. Go to the library. So that's the channel. Maybe I gotta go across the channel. Hmm. Did I click library? Excuse me, I was wondering. Do you know what it's about? Oh. Hello. You're gonna get some kind of advantage for the new problem of the week. But even here, you beat me. You're always. You're always fast asleep. I didn't know you cared. Of course I cared. One minute I doze off while thinking about the solution to the problem. Next I wake up, the problem is solved. With your quiet smug next to it. How did you do it? Well, the change transpired while you were asleep. Without observing during a time frame, the change must seem instantaneous. Well, yes, but. You're right. If I were to be awake while you solve the problem, I could observe the change myself. Exactly. Hmm. If you give me something to think about. I will see you later in Radius, yes? Could you please keep it d d down next time? Radius is always messing with my system. Excuse me? Y yes, what is it? How are you today? We're fine, but, but my colleague... I wish you didn't m mess with my system all the time. You were very careless. Oh? I was wondering whether you had the book. Every week a problem. 52 minor main problems for mathematician. Mind, mind. We have it, but unfortunately it's lent. Anything else? Yes, we have it. But unfortunately it's lent out. How are you today? Fine. But my colleague, oh, systems are very careless. Maybe I can help? I don't think so, unless you c c can see how the system is s supposed to work. It all seems random. I don't see how. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. Anything else? Okay, I'm gonna go to. I don't think it's random. It's not random. Just increase the numbers to six, then start counting to zero again. What? Go ahead, I'm sure it's right. But really? Goodness gracious, it makes much more sense. 
Thank you, her. Chanel. My pleasure, Hugo. Uh, how did you... Oh, well, no matter. Have a good day, her Chanel. You too. Hmm. Better check on Radius, then. That's what I was on my way to do. Was that a quick library by accident? I guess we'll never know. Well, we will once I go back to editing. <laughs> but I mean, it don't matter too much. If I clicked on the library, then cool, I learned a bit more than... I wouldn't know if I went straight here. Doesn't matter. Oh, please. Oh, you're up. You're not arguing. Ash now. Oh, you're awake this time. Zara's at the hospital again. He's a poor sister. <laughs> Right, don't worry about the cough, it's just the smoke. Uh, the alpha, no, they just say mega symbol. Oh, the alpha symbol came up before, that's what it was. Alpha and omega. Schnell. No, I'm sorry. Your theory. I felt so far out of my depths and drowning by. Abilities. Forgive me, my friends. I appreciate you taking the time to get the paper I gave you. Now don't be angry. Give them to Zala. He's your best chance. Haven't you seen the way he studies me now? How many of them do? They watch every move, move I make. They want to see me trip up. I'm sure you're wrong. I'd like you to address my class. Me? What could I talk about? Math, you ninny. I wouldn't expect you to explore upon cares and feelings and the size forces well do you do that yes my friends but you I will communicate myself before your students magnificent we arrange a date for you to speak oh, is she still no one arguing no no you should have been full can't you see the equation is solved can you see the variables still unsolved? <coughs> Gentlemen, why don't you ask the man here? I'm sure he can end your disagreement for the sake of stroke. Where do we find that exactly? They just agrees. They're both right. Here we go again. First might be unsolved, but in time it will be finished. That's it. Chanel? What? I'm sorry, I can't say right now. I have a theory to write. Well, more like, I have things to do. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, it's much hot, too hot in here dressed like this. Well, why don't you change them? Is that better? I hope so. Every change occurs with respect to a given parliament. Okay, X and three. Blackboard, hmm. Gunwood argued whether the result of the equation was already found or not. So in a given time frame, a change can collapse. No, well yes, but, ugh. In a given time frame, the change can... be ongoing. At the moment of observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. Yes! The falling leaf doesn't stop falling just because I stop looking at it. But where will the change lead then? Nicole, I um know what this looks like. Yes, Uncle Lewis said he met a man who lives downstairs from me. The man claimed to be a friend of mine. I seen him up. I'd seen him from upstairs, letting himself into your apartment a lot. I thought you were just having an affair with an impossibly handsome man. Didn't understand why you would introduce me. Would have been difficult. Ha ha ha. That's for sure. Nicole, 
Give me a moment to change, and I'll try to explain. So I can't see. So noisy. I'm not playing dresser. You're not? Emma? Um, what do you want me to call you then? I'm still Emma. But I feel I'm more than that now. I know. I call you M. That's what you both have in common. M. <laughs> I like that. And that's what I call my friend Emma. I call her M. I wish I could go live with Uncle Laos again. We tried it, but he was too busy running the inn. I'm sure he would love for you to stay with him, if it were possible. I know, maybe someday. Right? Where are your parents? New York. Nicole, do you understand why I dress as a man sometimes? I think so, but I won't tell. You can't do what you want to either. You can't be who you are. Who you feel you are. It shouldn't matter if you have a dream. Everyone has dreams. Everyone should have the right to try and make their dreams come true. But I cannot stress that enough. You have a dream, freaking go for it. It doesn't matter if you're a female or not, if you're trans or not, if you're a different sexuality than the stereotypical ones that have the job. Who cares? Be the first, be the pioneer. Do the job that you want to do. Who cares what disability you have or what... Who cares? Do it! As long as you are safe and happy. Follow your dreams. That's all I can stress. I can't stress that enough. Just believe in yourself and just do it. It's not mean. Look, there's little Gustava. Gustava, I should say, sorry. Not Gustavia. Gustav. His name means warrior. I wonder if he dreams of being a soldier. He can be if he wants to. No, he told me he doesn't dream. He told me he dreams of desserts mostly. <laughs> Same! <laughs> Why must only men go to war? I don't know. I can tell you why, honey. Because they believe that women aren't strong enough. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anyone who's gotten on the wrong side of Frank Kinzer there would not want to meet her on the battlefield. There's Miss Dorf. She's a music student. I bet she dreams of playing in a big concert hall someday. She's a talent. She has a talent. She has a talent. She's a talented woman. Uh, she's. Uh, she has a talented woman. I'm not allowed to have. But did you know any men can be first violin in the orchestra? Why? Why does that make, make any bloody sense? Oh, that's so crushing. I think we should have lots of dreams, and all of them should come true. Well, I, I agree to disagree upon that one. Because if your dream is to mass murder everyone, then that's probably a dream you shouldn't be following. But like, you know, if you have a dream of being happy, follow that dream over murdering everyone. That would be wonderful. Wouldn't it? What's the matter? You look funny. What we become, it doesn't have to be a single dream. You're right. In a change, goodness gracious, in a change, the destination could be a set of states. Nicole, you're a miracle. Nicole! Where are you? It's time for your sewing lesson! <laughs> sewing? Yeah. I've done sewing before. I've dabbled in it. I've made something, as you guys have seen on the XC channel. I made myself a skirt and a shirt. Pretty proud. Couldn't do it again if I tried. Change is beginning in an end state, but what if I can't see the end? Ooh. Pardon me. Um, blackboard. Emma, you just saw it. Perfectly formed, remember, the destination state can be... The 
the destination state of observation can be a set of states. Of course. If I turn away while watching the falling leaf, it could land, yes, but it could be picked up by a gust of wind or distinguish, disintegrate into dust. <laughs> Not too likely, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, Emma, you're almost there. Almost there. You've got this, Emma. Meanwhile. Kara, I need your help. Your advice once again, dear sister. Ever since childhood, I had relied on you. I can't stop now. It's a strange Berliner who has a lap allowed into radius. He vexes me. Days have turned to weeks and he shows no sign of leaving us. And leave us he must. He is a cancer eating at our little troop. The other fellows resent him. Each time he solves the problem of the week, I can see the content, content for us in his eyes. And now this, this. The man gave me Sherman's current research. It's my field after all. But Sherman would never ask me for help. No. I tried to. You didn't let me. It's a good, Kara. I think I see where he's heading though, and it's a dead end. I think I could help him, but I hesitate. Why? Because... Because I fear him. I fear he will prove it. He's not there yet. But one day sooner rather than later, he could cast all my work into shadows. But I can't allow that to happen, can I? No, you're right as always. I can't allow it. First, I'll appeal to be sent some justice. I may be able to convince him to turn away from the line of research and return to Berlin. If not, I must defend myself. You must understand that, don't you? Your brother, Jonat, must defend his honour. A family honour. I'll go to him. His address is on the paper no miss gave me. I'll go. Reason with him. And if he refuses to listen to reason, why, in that case, I will destroy him. Well, that seems a little violent. The next morning. Uh-oh. The turnips are fresh off the truck. I've known how to prepare turnips. They're like woods. Ah. You cook peculiar. I... There's a trick, you see. Most people boil the turnips for 40 minutes or so, depending on how big they are, and leave it at that. That softens them up. But you act on yet. If you're not careful, they lose their flavour. Another reason I avoid them. I don't boil, I roast. I cube the turnips and roast them for the same length of time. But there is a secondary step. If you fail to do it, they will still not appeal. I'm not convinced. Just wait, hear me out. When the roasted cubes are soft and golden brown, I toss them with some apple cider vinegar and parsley. Vinegar looks, locks in and enhances the flavour. <laughs> I don't have time for a secondary step. <laughs> That sounds like it would take ages. Ha ha ha. It sounds... Wait. To attain the flavour, a secondary change is required. Now you have it. Would you buy one? One? I'll buy two, three, no a dozen. Hmm. Interesting. I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes. Now, what does the vegetable friend say he talked to me about? Maintaining a state? Yes. I was there to keep the flavor in the turnips. Ah. 
to maintain a state of a change. Grab. Nicola, I'm glad you're here. We're going to cook turnips. Turnips? You know I hate cooking, Emma. Emma? She is that woman. This changes everything. Bro, really? The guy couldn't have had a girl over? That same evening. We have no way to be charged with it because Zion has lost faith in us. Lost faith in you, possibly. Zion knows will always be placed for a reply mathematically, like me, man. Will tomorrow evening be convenient? My class meets at 7. Yes, my friend, I will be there. Uh oh. Chanel. I've read your research. It is claptrap. I may have an unfocused, illogical mind. You are wrong, Professor. I'm much further along since I wrote those notes. I can hear the lion's song. I believe I'm very close to the solution. Then let us put it to the test, shall we? A debate at the university at your earliest convenience. If you are man enough. <gasps> so, if I can explain I was hoping you could help me in the equation. Professor, you have nothing but my respect. You are fraud, you now. Your hesitation proved it. I'm speaking to Professor Nervous class tomorrow evening at 7. Will that be soon enough? That would do nicely. But this should not be confirmed to Professor Nair's class. We will debate in the main lecture hall before the mathematic facility as students of Vienna. Do you agree? I agree. Why is Anna? You are wrong to do this. We'll come clear tomorrow. And I promise you you'll be surprised. And then finally, all will be all will be as it should be again. You're mad because someone's taking over. You're getting jealous. Hmm. Strange. What are you looking for? I mean, stranger things have happened to you. No stranger would it be. And I'm in that in the hanging tree. Are you, are you coming to the tree? Mm -hmm. Strange things could happen here, no stranger would it be. Uh oh. The minute I forgot to take off a male's glasses. Um, I am a male as well as Emma. And I am not one or the other. Your name is Emma? The first time I visited the radius, I was dressed as you see me now. I'm sorry, I remember a brief interruption. A woman. I don't remember what she looked like. There's no reason you would. It was a woman. Does Ellen know? No. No one does except a little girl upstairs, my friend. Will you come in? It would not be proper. I don't understand. We are friends. Emil and I are friends. You are Emma. The two of us together in a room alone. It wouldn't be right, but I understand, I think. I also am not what I pretend to be. Are you going through with the debate? Oh, yes. I promise you I will be there. Then I hope. I hope Zella doesn't find out. I wouldn't crucify you. Really? The next evening. Well, that's a bad friend. Not to take in, but still, bad friend. 
Should be there no matter what gender they identify as. That one professor. Where is he? Professor Schnaub appears to be late. Can I say I'm entirely surprised, however, we will wait and hope for a few minutes more. <gasps> Who was that? Think that is Professor Schnell? No. Schnell's a woman. Professor Schnell. At least you were in your truest colours. That even is your real name. My name is Emma Reconcile. Ha! Ha ha ha! A woman! I'm here to debate mathematics, not genders. Gentlemen, I'm sure you agree. This fair should be called off. I disagree, Professor. You're a junior professor. You should take care. We disagree. Let her speak. I'm Professor of Mathematics. What we teach, what they can... What they learn, what you deny them the opportunity. They will learn nothing here from that woman. And you deny the opportunity to learn from you. We want to learn. Let us learn. And defend my colleague. Gentlemen, the last time I checked this was an interdu inter institution of learning. May the students learn. Gentlemen, to avoid a revolution, I suggest we let the debate continue. I agree. So be it. This ends now. I read your sorry attempts to come up with a theory of change. <laughs> Maintaining a stage of change. Maintaining a stage of change. Preposterous. Is it? Maybe you're out of your depth. Functions of change can be quite hard to grasp. What? But 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 that's my field. Oh, burn! Hit the home. Do you know what they're talking about? Professor Schnell's theory. It's Emma. Pay attention. Shut up. We'll just prove your theory. Right here, right now. And I will prove it. Let's begin the foundations of your, dare I call it, paper. A few minutes later. There's a number of things to notice about change. First and foremost, change is not instantaneous. Oh, but it is. Look. This is pretty cool. <laughs> that makes sense. She's right. So it looks like he's going to explode. Ha ha. Ah, so that's what she meant. Yes. I knew that, of course. You witness a joint my writing. Writing of it. The next step, then. Now hold on just a moment. The point right here that you work to have established a range of references. Not so fast. Is that Professor Allen? I believe so. He's awake. Cher once mentioned your exact point long before you did. He did? That is surprising. Nonetheless. Y yes, that's from my theory. Well, I can't see it here. Only then can you state in every change. Uh oh, I wouldn't want to be her. The leaf, yes, yes, we know. A change at the moment of observation, a moment of observation, a change can be final and going. And your time is almost up. The change is indeed ongoing, but the time you finish observing it, it would be final yet ongoing. And that, madame, is what we call a paradox. Oh no, that's it. We're bad for her. 
No. Elm. There it is. Chanel. Emma Resnick is a fraud. What happened? This can't be it. I'm so sure. I saw it. There must be more to it. She was right about the beginning. And the other points? Wait a moment. Now, now. What was a mistake in your thinking? A mistake. What? Could it be a mistake? If you write it like this... You got it, Emma. You got this, girl. Oh, please. You're making a fool of yourself. Change your perspective. See? I... Suppose one could... Let me... Move over! Let me check that. Hmm. I didn't think of that. He didn't either. That's brilliant. Stop observing it while it's still falling. The leaf might land to the ground, or it could be picked up by a gust of wind. How poetic. Huh. You should know something about change, no wonder. You're constantly changing from one disguise to another. What's going on? What does that have to do with anything? Well, that's a lot. Wondering what to wear, I bet. Ha ha ha. It's not funny, that's terrible. A little Emma changing nothing. Emma, 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 Emma. You look one or the other. Two states, nothing in between. There can be more than one destination state. That's what I've been trying to say. During the observation, a change can be a final or ongoing. You can't be certain of all states, but I can prove the existence of such states. Emma, 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 Emma. Could you move a little? The mathematician has work to do. Hmm. She's actually doing it. You can understand her. This is getting exciting. Oh, this is nonsense. Ahem. I read your paper. Your theory has more holes than good cheese. What a cheese in comparison. Ha ha, sucked in, loser. Enough of this. Uh oh. I know you can't prove it. your theory was incomplete. Uh oh. You were nowhere near close to proof. The suit of change cannot be maintained. Oh, this is cool. It can be maintained. Changing from Emma to Elm. From Elm to Emma. A secondary inverse change. I came. I am Emma M. Elm. I am Emma and Elm. I am the proof. Identifying. No. That. That is it. She did it. Good job, Emma. Proud of you. That's brilliant. Your arguments come up before everyone eyes. I respect your efforts, Professor. So be trusted. Without Professor Salem's help, I would never have arrived at the solution. To a problem that has haunted me for years. He was so courageous enough to risk his reputation and face me in a debate in his build. Ask yourselves, how many of you would have been fearless enough to do that? If he was still wearing a top hat, I would take off and salute him. Now it's time to make peace. Let us be bold in our theories and in who we are. And let's keep looking for truth with an open mind. Non-binary. Hell yeah, non-binary math in here. Proud of you, Em.
days later. Right here. When I looked through the window, it hit me that at that time I couldn't fathom what had happened. Of course, my theory of change, my own change. So this is where Sham begin. Yes, that isn't easy for me. But I thank you for not really calling me in front of the faculty. You are a worthy mathematician, Professor Rackenzin. But enough dwelling on the past. We have theories to propose, and you and I. I can rely on you for that to no, know, as long as our theories stay real. These word plays are not funny. And they're being too irrational. Ugh! Wait! Not to worry, I still have some more. I'll get myself into. Hmm. Oh, the bracket, that's smart. Okay, I like that. I can't remember what equation that is, though, but... Bravo! That was a good episode! It's actually, I think that's my favourite episode to date. Out of the three, 9% of people spent equal time as Emil. Yeah. 80% also agreed to be painted. Oh, that's cool. Let's see the painting. 20% became friends with the culture. Oh, really? That's sad. That was so low. 65 agreed to speak in front of the class. Okay, not as high as I expected. 86 decided to spare Zala too. Yeah. Oh, derivation is F bracket X bracket. The last episode of The Lion Song. Bit of a sneak preview. As the season comes to an end, you're probably all wondering who my last model was. Visit the creations. How can I help you? To the eyes of others. Is the seat taken? Episode 4 Closure. Is this when all three of the characters come together and we get closure for all of them? Ooh, I didn't even think about that! Hell yeah! Woo! That'd be awesome! That would be awesome indeed! Um, okay. Interesting. I'm interested to see how low that was though. That's very interesting. So that is the ending of episode three, the lion song, derivation, derivation. I'm probably saying that wrong so many times, but you know what? That is okay. And with that, the episode is now ended. I hope you guys enjoyed that very passionate feminism video. Sorry, my feminism was a bit too much for you guys, but your girl believes in equal rights. That yeah, but no, that was my favorite episode out of the three of them. Hundred percent agree. And with that, see you guys in the next video. Whoop, sorry, cause I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya. Woo!